All right, welcome to investigation 15A. And 15A is an investigation that connects from the past, protest and revolution over time to contemporary America. And the question that we're trying to investigate is right in front of you in yellow. Should professional athletes be able to display the purpose and power of protest by kneeling during their country's national anthem? And that's the question that we're going to try to investigate. Should professional athletes in all sports be able to display the purpose and power of protest by kneeling during the country's national anthem? So you would, you would think maybe yes, because the audience is so large and therefore the message is more powerful, or you can say no, because it's very distracting to the players during a game. And there are other times and places where their popularity has a lot of eyes on them so they can deliver their message in other places, right? So this is up to you. There are so many other opinions that you can have on this but we have to do some investigative analysis in order to better understand this prompt. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. All right, here we go. You can see my screen. I'm gonna zoom in more. We're gonna take a look at image one. Image one on the left-hand side. All right, we have a couple of football players. There's a very large crowd behind them. So there's your audience, right? And obviously, this is an NFL game. So the source, CBS News, members of the San Francisco 49ers football team, they kneel in protest while others remain standing on October 5th, 2017. So who is the author or the creator here? So the source... CBS News, that's where the photo comes from, right? What is the occasion, the time, the place, the setting? Okay, October 15th, 2017. NFL football game. San Francisco 49ers. <clears throat> All right. Let you finish that up. As you finish that up, Here's our first complicated question here. What should the audience think or feel after looking at this image? Look at the audience behind them. We're the audience by looking at this image, plus the audience behind them, plus the television audience. What should they feel or think? Now, there are many different possibilities, right? So it's not our place to say this is right or this is wrong because then we become biased as historians. So let's think of an unbiased way to say this, right? Right? So the crowd, the television audience, the viewer, us looking at the image, they can react in a variety of ways, right? The two main ways, support or oppose the action that's taking place. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
<clears throat> right? So there's a variety of reaction. An individual can look at this image and say, that's fantastic. They're very popular. Many people are looking, they're delivering a message about social injustice. That's good. Another individual can say, that's wrong. They're disrespecting the, you know, what America stands for. Another individual could say, it's not a big deal. So there are a variety of ways that you can react. The two main ways are to support it or oppose the actions taking place. Now, why did CBS News take a photo and post it in their newspaper, in their online newspaper? What is the purpose? Right? This is to inform the reader of the athlete's actions to protest the national anthem, deliver a message about social injustice. Okay? There you go. So that's the purpose here. This news outlet wants to inform the reader, whether it's a video news story, whether it's an image, they want to inform whoever looks at this. These are the actions of the athletes, right? They're protesting the national anthem to deliver a message about social injustice. Okay. What is the meaning or the message here? What is the message being discussed in this image? Right? So let's take a look. Popular players, they want to use their notoriety, their popularity. Let's say popularity. A large audience, right? A football game. And that's what they want to do here. So these popular players, they know that there are thousands to hundreds of thousands to possibly millions of people watching the game. They know that their actions are being viewed by many, if not most of those people. They know if they make a controversial statement by doing something that brings attention to them individually, they have the opportunity to send a message in protest regarding something that they personally believe in. So they are exercising their constitutional right to do this. Does this take away from the enjoyment of the game? Does this distract the players from the game plan? Do politics have a place in sports? Or is this exactly the place where this should happen because so many people are watching and is very beneficial for a social justice movement? This is one of the largest American debates in the country 
over the past few years. <clears throat> we just looked at one image and we deconstructed the image to gain a greater understanding. When you go back and you go over image two, you're going to see the audience, the purpose, the meaning is all very similar. So you are going to reveal many similarities and some small differences, right? So now you're going to go back <clears throat> to the top image two. And you're going to try to quickly run through the rest of the images. You have about 15 minutes. As soon as you're done with those images and with the grid, you should be able to move through the grid quickly. You go to the bottom and you really think about this question. Now, this is the 15th time you've performed analysis. I'm asking you to perform analysis on something that directly affects our lives. And let's see what kind of depth you can come up with. What are three conclusions that you can draw from all of those images? And you want to make a nice thesis statement. Okay. You want to try to use the word, although, right? So I've brought this up to you before, although these professional athletes are exercising their constitutional right to deliver messages about social injustice. It's the wrong time and the wrong place and causes distractions within the players and sports, or there's no place for politics inside competition of sports or, or although politics can be a distraction during a sporting competition due to the large audience, this is the, the a prime venue in which to bring about attention to social injustices and protests in order to deliver messages, to push the movement forward, about more equality. There's no right or wrong answer. It's all about the evidence that you gather and the evidence-based that you can construct. 